Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hitman 3, where we are about to have the one thing that Alexa Carlyle cannot buy. A mystery. No, that's not, because you, you can definitely buy a mystery. You know what I mean. We're going to have information, she's going to want it, and we're going to use that information to to do something. Um, kill her, probably. I sure hope so. Uh, so we need to go and check out... Ah, there's our greenhouse. I mean... Listen, a normal investigator might go back inside and use the stairs, but let's be honest. 47 is no normal investigator. Do these houses not have drain pipes? I'm gonna be honest with you, my plan here was to climb down a drain pipe. Uh, maybe we are, maybe we are gonna go back inside and, 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 yeah, okay. Listen, I know it may have seemed... Like, I tried to take a shortcut, and then I was terribly humiliated in front of everyone by that not working. Uh, but in fact, uh, what happened there was I was just getting some cardio. A little bit of, a little bit of, uh, you know, hand isometric exercise. A single pull-up, which as everyone knows is the optimal number of pull-ups to do at any one time. Uh, greenhouse. This side of the house? That room definitely does not have a door. Here we go. Here we go. Just uh, <clears throat> single player video games. What is going on out here? Uh, we don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madam Carlyle will be furious. Uh, she expects the family photo to be done any moment now. I need this shoot to happen, okay? And I need it to be perfect. Can't, can't we just take a fuse from another fuse box? Uh, I, I guess we could do that. Good. Look, I'll finish setting up, and then we'll grab the fuse just before you call down the family. Good. Yeah, that's a good plan. There's some kind of very strange global fuse shortage going on. So I'm sure that's another opportunity there. We could We could become the photographer... And then somehow set up a family portrait to die for, right? You know what I'm saying? Wait, uh, I seem to not be able to hear her anymore. Very weird acoustics in this greenhouse. So I get, I guess we spooked her. And I mean, sure enough, Emma's out here in the, uh, in the greenhouse. Oh, that's a water bottle we can poison. I don't believe for a second Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. Yes, sure. What? But he, he Damn it. Upset. Okay, well, I mean, we know she has the key. Maybe if we wait out here, she'll come back? Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay here, but Ethel was sure Emma would throw him out first chance she got. And now we'll never know. Oh my. You're taking this hard, aren't you? Okay, just more confirmation that Zachary definitely, definitely didn't kill himself. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could just wait out here for Emma to go back inside, and then we could follow her in. We could also jump her and take the key, which we know she has. But I kind of, I feel like that might spoil the whole mystery plot, you know, uh, subduing suspects and leaving them in the in the river so we'll just wait and see if she goes back inside and if she does we will surreptitiously follow her i am very curious what exactly she's doing out here is she mixing up crazy plant poisons now zachary won't get to see the rhododendron perigonium blossom they were his favorite oh come on <gasps> oh i understand why you're so upset Emma Carlyle in the greenhouse. How curious. With the candlestick. Well, no, with the with the plant-based... Emma Carlyle in the in the greenhouse with the plant-based poison. I, I guess, except that she didn't... She did the thing in the bedroom. Emma Carlyle in the bedroom with the... Yeah, you get what I'm doing. Why did it have to break on me now? This is the last thing I What are we I talking about to... here? Her chemistry set broke on her? I have no idea what I need to fix it. Hmm. 
All right, you know what? I'm going to real quickly here open and then close a couple of these doors because I think that sets them to unlocked if I, if I open them from the other side, just in case we want to get back in here. And then hopefully she'll go back outside and we can go over there and figure out what she's playing with. Although, I mean, I guess I could just talk to her again, right? Because she didn't react very much to having seen me through the window before. <laughs> you and me both, sister. So whatever that book is, we have a we have a camera icon over it. I wonder if it has her handwriting in it. What a piece of junk. Okay, I am decreasingly sure that she's going to go outside without a little bit of a push. Broken hey, you. equipment. Oh. It looks like it was recently used, though. I, I was just, I don't know, thinking about Zachary. He spent most of his life in here with these plants. Not much of a life, is it? Well, anyway, I'll be outside if you need me. If you'd excuse me. Okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward. So what is she... Huh. Huh. So these are poisonous, but they're not, like, lethal poisonous. I mean, I guess if you were to concentrate them enough. Listen, listen you can give enough of something to anyone, it's going to turn into poison, right? There's a lethal dose of this, I am sure. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, huh. 47. Female, age 65 to 79. 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Well, you great. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Or unless we're gonna just let Emma do the thing, right? Because, like... Because, like, we could. <laughs> the only thing we're really after here is killing Alexa. I mean, uh, I guess we do have to get to the case file. So it would take a wrench to fix this. I have to say, I do find it very poetically appealing to, like, to turn Emma in. And have her punished for what we know she did to Zachary. You startled me. That's right, I did. I, I was just... I don't know, thinking about Zachary. He spent most of his life in here with these plants. Not much Boy, she really rehearsed this. Well, anyway, I'll be outside if you need me. If you yes. excuse me. I think that would be best. Okay, so wrench. Where are we going to get a wrench? Is there anything else in here that we can take? Okay. That's not going to solve this problem, but it is going to solve a problem we're going to have in a little while. Uh, okay, like a motor pool, maybe. Let's look around over here. It's like you might sometimes need a wrench to repair gardening equipment, right? Hoses and whatnot. And we did pick up that crowbar, which will give us access to some things that we didn't have access to before. All I get from Fernsby. Everything needs to be ready for the funeral. It needs to look good for the family portrait. I can feel that pressure too. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying is, did this work, by the way? Yes, it did. Okay. We can get back in on our own now. Uh, it does It does feel like it would be poetically appropriate to turn Emma in, have her punished for what she did to Zachary, but then to go ahead and give her poison to Alexa. You know, maybe she can have one last moment of satisfaction, knowing that somehow she was responsible for for Alexa's death as well. I don't know where we're going to find a wrench, though. Like, where's the garage? That's what I would expect. Wherever they keep the cars, that's where a wrench would be. Uh, that is a shovel. For some reason, I'm not allowed to pick up a saw. Are you trying to tell me that 47 does not... 
play and enjoy the art of the musical saw? It's very hard to believe. Alright, let's look around in places where there are tools. Okay, that's something. That's a different kind of tool. What is this? A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. This is a, okay, a receipt for the repairs of the safe. Not really directly relevant, except in the, in that it tells us there is a safe. Okay, well, that's just rolled up newspaper. Mary is so upset, as she's never seen a dead body before. Poor thing. Alexa well, from the dead, a make-believe funeral. A lead pipe is wrench-like. All too much. We'll all need a vacation when this is over. Unfortunately, this is like the, the caterer's stuff, right? Do you need wrenches in catering? Probably not. I guess unless you run into like a very stuck wine bottle. Oh, additional crowbar, as we've covered. Never have enough. Well, this is looking like a bust. Like I said, what we need really is the garage. We need to figure out where... The Carlisles keep their cars. We could throw someone in a well. That's not a terrible idea. Ooh, hey. Classic coins. These are these are slightly better than normal coins. Alright, well, I'm positively awash in hatchets. I'm up to my neck in crowbars out here. Where the hell are all the wrenches? Can I just ask somebody? We should ask Fernsby. He's a butler, right? Isn't it's his job? It is his job to buttle. If I need a wrench, he should find it for me. Ooh. It was Fernsby who told her. I didn't see it either, but it was still quite a shock for her coming back from the grave. And the family has to pretend she's still dead. Some of them are not happy about that at all. Madam is a mysterious one. Tough as nails, but mysterious no less. Oh, it's complicated, all right. With Zachary dead as well. I don't think that those two qualities are necessarily as at odds as she's making them sound. Oh my god. Oh, this is just the lady who's still freaked out due to our uh, method of entry. Oh, these are, these are very thick hedges. We cannot hide in these hedges. Well, shoot. Uh, how about the map? Does the map show a place where the cars would be kept? What is this? Area undiscovered. Okay, hold on. Is that the garage? No, that is definitely not the garage. Here's some cars, though. I mean, we should go over there anyway, right? They call all of you in today. I've never seen so many gardeners here at the same time. Yes, there's so much to do before the funeral tomorrow. Fake funeral. It's absolutely bonkers as well. Imagine the headline. Alexa Carlisle. Everybody's got the same feelings about the funeral. Listen, I get it. I'd be a little bit put out, too. It is kind of wild that they put no effort into concealing her from, like, the gardeners and stuff. There's a lot of people who work here who are not necessarily going to be all that loyal to the Carlisles. But, you know, rich rich people don't really think of poor people as people, so... Madam Carlisle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's the birds... They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The Undertaker wants them gone before he'll see Madame Carlyle. He's in a right state. So unless you want to take on the birds, I suggest you stay clear of him. Oh, no, my aim's horrible. Safer for everyone if I just wait here till he says he's ready for Madame. Interesting. So this is probably another way that we could get in. We could become the Undertaker and then have her come out here and... Do you need... Do you need wrenches to run a mausoleum? There's like, there's like lifts and stuff involved, right? The body, the body's got to get down there somehow. Oh, look at this guy! Look at this positive fucking cartoon character! Oh, I have some questions for you, sir. No, I'm not allowed to ask any questions. Does it say nearer my god to thee on his sash? Okay, interesting. 
if we brought that shovel over here, or we just, you know, located one nearby, I guess we could fill in the grave. Doesn't necessarily feel like a thing we need to do, but we could probably set up one hell of a spectacle here. You can be sure of that. I guess that's fair. She did she did just come back from the dead. Maybe that's all it takes to keep everybody in line. Well, I'm gonna continue stealing everything that isn't nailed down, but we're having a hell of a time finding a wrench. Okay, well, there's a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of distractions and stuff. I love autumn funerals. Madam Carlyle isn't dead, so there is no funeral. Not if you ask me. Well, I still think it's going to be a beautiful service. Well, I'm siding with the Undertaker on this one. It's wrong pretending to be dead. Some things you don't mess with, not even if you're filthy rich. I'm going to level with you for a second there. I couldn't figure out where the second person in that conversation was coming from. And I kind of thought he was having a conversation with the lawnmower. Damn bird. I could just get clear hits on those messes. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, we could certainly help with that. I think we're sort of we're sort of committed to an idea here, but I like this. This is cool. Oh uh, wait, how do I? It definitely. There we go. It's just a little finicky. Well, certainly no wrenches to be had over here. My father. Worked. Oh, let me, let me in here. There we go. Nope. Okay. It turns out that grave is positively hungry to have a body in it. So there was one other area that was marked undiscovered. Is this? Is this? Uh, what's this? Is this Frensby's office over here? Let's um, let's maybe let ourselves in over there. How are you today, sir? Which side of the house am I on? The exact opposite. Okay. Because now that we have a crowbar, we could break in. Obviously, it's um, it's going to be a little noisy, and it's definitely not what they would prefer that we do. Looking good. Uh, thank you. I agree. Uh, where's that from? Okay. All the way down here, and yeah, this is. This is right. Alright, just make sure that's closed. And can anyone see us through the window right now? No, and if anybody comes to respond to the noise of me breaking this door, we'll just leap out that window, heroically. Uh, we could have just brought lockpicks. Maybe I should have just brought lockpicks. <laughs> door unlocked. It's true. That's what I did. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. Mr. Fernsby's office uh, contains a list here, written by Mr. Fernsby. The handwriting does not match the suicide note. Okay, I mean, we know who did it. We know who's guilty. He's got a golf club, which I am not allowed to carry around. Everybody knows damn well I'm not a golfer. Okay, I can't. I was hoping I could conceal this in my coat, but no such luck. This guy really has abominable dress sense. So I did say that there were three clues in this office. Can I... Nope, the door, the door cannot be closed. I've permanently violated it. So nothing in here has the camera symbol on it. Oh, that's something. Aha! Uh -huh. Painkiller. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of yes, course, thank Madame you. Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler 47? We could, right? I mean, it's an idea. So there is one more clue available. None of the other stuff on his desk looks meaningful. I can't open the drawers. 
I'm going to pick up the golf club just in case it's the clue. You know, like that weird dog cane. Also, why was that dog cane a clue, anyway? What did that have to do with anything? Alright, well, it doesn't look to me like there's much else going on in here, frankly. I keep seeing, like, the power outlets out of the corner of my eye and thinking that they are a little a little square interact prompt. I don't know. I guess it, it would be nice to figure out what this is, but we don't need it. We know... Oh, hold on a second. Zachary's that seems diary. significant. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Miss. Oh, she was still talking. She needs to pause for less time between her lines so I can tell when she's done. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? No, nah, that's cool. We'll just, we'll just tell Madame Carlyle the truth. And I guess we'll kill her in some kind of less poetic way because I can't find a damn wrench. And apparently 47 cannot be put upon to, like, improvise. Oh, wait, no, this might be good. In fact, never mind, we're fine. Also, more soap. 47, the prankster, strikes again. Why is there just a length of lead pipe here? Who knows? Okay, anyway, I'm going to go back to the greenhouse real quick, and we're going to mix up a dose of that poison. And I don't know exactly how we're going to administer it, but that seems like a thing to think about later. One problem at a time. Which side of the, which side of the house am I on? That's the graveyard over there, which means that the greenhouse is exactly... Okay. I am exactly in the wrong place. I went to the most wrong that I could possibly go. A bathroom makes sense. Security a bathroom's a good place to, could, uh, to put a wrench. I mean, really, what is a bathroom if not a garage for humans? Think about it. So I do wonder, though, if it's going to be awkward for me to make the poison with Emma hovering around constantly. Like, obviously, it would be best if I did not get seen doing that. Hey, you, get startled. This is the Emma Carlyle. Oh, you startled me. I, I was just, I All right. know, thinking Get on with Zachary. it. He spent most of his life in here with these plants. Not much of a life, is it? Get on with it. Well, anyway, I'll be outside if you need me. If you'd excuse me. Just this one last time. I'm going to produce some poison real quick. Nobody's looking. It's fine. Listen, we already had some lethal poison, but this is like, this is the good stuff. This is the poetic stuff. And as we all know, the power of, uh, the power of metaphor and story makes anything stronger. Ask the Immortal Hulk. Alright, so let's go tell Alexa what's up. She'll... It's, uh, somehow this is going to end up with me being invited into her, inner, into her inner sanctum, and then once we're up there, we'll, you know, we'll improvise. We'll figure it out. I could just poison that glass, I suppose. But that doesn't feel like quite the ending we're looking for. She is not holding that glass. She's just sort of... It has fixed in space, and she's just sort of vibrating around it. Aren't I supposed to be able to... Oh, do I have to tell... I have to tell Fernsby. Well, shit, where's Fernsby? It does seem like I should be able to speak to her directly. Especially since she has no problem with me just sort of awkwardly hovering over her shoulder while she drinks. Fernsby. Well, what the, where did everybody go? There is unfortunately not really a way to track him. This is a person moving through the house. Aha! I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. 
There's totally a way to walk slower. Uh, is it? Nope, that's the opposite of that. Sorry, that's my bad. I did, I did just shoulder check you real hard. And I apologize for that. That was rude. I mean, of course I can do this. Nope, if anything, I am faster. But you know, maybe, maybe I'm not too fast. Maybe the whole world is too slow. Maybe they should just match up to my pace. We just ruthlessly mock Fernsby until he feels the Thank need to sir. keep up with us. Boy, it does sort of seem like he's leading me somewhere private to kill me, doesn't it? I wonder if we would have gotten in trouble trying to go up here without him. I guess I didn't even try it, did I? Well, whatever. It doesn't doesn't exactly seem necessary. All right, and Alexa and her private security Hello, detail sir. are right behind us. I'm sure this dude would have had a problem with us coming up here. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. I like to imagine that the constant subdue prompt. Oh. Are you sure I'm allowed to step inside? They really don't want me in there. No, yeah, I am considered to be trespassing. I guess I'll I'll wait right here. Oh wait, maybe he meant that way. He probably meant that way. He sure did. Okay. Well, that's I knew that obviously. I'm just gonna swipe some stuff right here in front of her. It's a dominance move. I gotta let her know that uh, that I'm in charge. Is there so, anything? Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. There's not really anything to drink in here. Could we poison? Poison this? Uh, yeah, I'll be right with you. Don't worry. I'm just you know just having a look around. I'm I'm detecting. Aha! I detected this apple. There we go. We want to make sure that she understands the level of skill she's dealing with here. Please go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna do the truth. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece, Emma, is the illegitimate child of your late older brother Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed. 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emmer to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory. Get revenge and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emmer used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming... Bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Uh, if I ask about the case file, that's going to be bad, right? I'm, I'm going to ask for money. And then we'll just figure out the case file thing ourselves. I'll send you an invoice. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. 
I trust you'll see yourself out. Oh, I need I'm sure you do. Thank you. She, she said she needs some privacy, so you guys should definitely go. And I'm, I'm just gonna uh, stand here and detect for a little while. They're not gonna... Okay, they're not going. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just... Uh, just see myself out. They're gonna get mad at me if I try to go upstairs, good, right? Looking good. Ah, hey, you're not wrong. They are not going to get mad at me. I'm just absolutely allowed to be here. Obviously. Okay, well let's have a look around. So her safe has the case file in it. I assume if you just ask directly ask directly for the case file, she uh she probably has some strong feelings about that, because who are you to know about that thing? Hmm. Well... Is she gonna go back downstairs? Because if she goes back downstairs, she'll take her security detail with her, right? And then we know where there is a drink that she drinks from. We can still just poison her. Yeah, apparently everybody's just fine with me being up here now. This is totally fine. So, uh, I'm just gonna... She took... Yeah, she took most of her people with her. Okay, I feel like we maybe shouldn't be getting a notification on that. Not that I wouldn't have looked at the picture of the dog, but like, yeah, that's pretty... That's pretty suspicious, given that we know there's a safe in here somewhere. I thought we'd maybe have to look for it a little bit more. Okay, so that guy is currently a minor annoyance. Fortunately, he is solvable. And, as I always say, the old ways are the best ways, right? Whoa. Hey, who the hell threw that? It's a it's a question. Perhaps you should go over and make friends. Ah, uh, yes. Very polite. Felled once again by his old world hospitality. Alright. <clears throat> you are being a real problem right now. You just can't find good help these days. Alright, somebody is out there. Okay, it's just security. So this button will, I assume, reveal the safe. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have sure. a look around the office, 47. Seems like they could be. Clock telescope fire moose. I mean, it's it's a classic combination. Clock telescope fire moose. Uh, well... This clock is... I mean, the, here's the problem with the clock. It has several numbers on it. Hold on, where's the moose head? The, mo the moose head will be, like, a little more definitive, right? Uh, there are some, like, some other skulls here. There's actually a lot of animals. Ooh. Those, pro those aren't moose antlers, though. It was a picture of a moose, specifically, right? Not, not just, like, a... Yep, pretty specifically. Fire and telescope. Right, is there a number around the fire? Can we can we discern anything here? That's okay, that's weird. It's not directly relevant to what we're doing. Hmm. Oh, indeed. A seven. So is there a is there a small number with a pla like a small plaque with a number on it around the clock? Maybe on the nope, not on the pendulum. That would be a pretty good place for it, right? I mean, it could be one of the numbers that the clock is pointing to. Hmm. Let's see if we can find another one. She has no problem with the fact that I've not left yet. I'm just gonna uh, go upstairs real quick. Ah, telescope. Nine. 
Okay, so it is... We have two different things that are just a very clear plaque with a number on them, which makes me think that it'll be the same for the clock. Is it the wrong kind of clock? I mean, I mean... Hmm. Also, I still don't see a... Oh! Well. That's curious. I mean, it's probably not relevant, but it's curious. So we don't actually see a moose head anywhere, right? Unless I'm missing something pretty serious here. Maybe there's a painting of a moose? Not actually, am, I, am I looking at the paintings? Deer, deer, listen, I don't know a lot about animals, but I know, I know that a deer is not a moose. With some confidence, I would say 30 to 40 percent confidence. Deer and moose, really sorry, different sir. critters. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to let you pass. Orders, you know. Asshole. Sure, sure. You'll never come through here as long as I'm alive. Now get the fuck out of my face. Wow. Like said, I'm really sorry. Yeah, you sound sorry. Just the and an extremely normal in an extremely normal way. Nobody has a problem with the fact that the safe is revealed. That's not a big deal. You know, that is a clock, but it's more of a mantelpiece clock than a grandfather clock. Is there a clock on the mantel? There's not. What is this a portrait of, even? It's like a, a couple of birds strung up by their feet, I guess. I mean, that makes sense. This whole place is a very, uh, a very sort of strong hunting theme. Is there a mantelpiece clock in one of these things, maybe? Or a moose? Or a, a small moose, perhaps? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I mean, now that she's gone, obviously, we gotta look in that little room. What is this? Okay. Well, this is curious. What's, it? What's in the little box? What's in the little box in the creepy room? Is, is this her angry dome? Is this where she goes to just scream it out? Okay. Curious. Well, that's that mantelpiece clock. It doesn't have an obvious number on it, though. This just looks out into the hallway... She can watch and see if the maids are stealing linens. Yeah, there's not like a... Hmm. Was there anything else back here to interact with? A unicorn horn? Hey, we got one. <laughs> Magic is real. And that'll just let us outside. Obviously, we don't, we don't much care about that. So this is a real curious place, but I don't know that it has a lot of utility for us, unfortunately. Despite the fact that it is the location of the clock that we are definitely supposed to be looking for. I feel like there should be a there should be a number on it then? I mean this is another This is another telescope. These are just extras. Extra props. In case she um In case she forgets her her safe code, she can redecorate the room and let's not be in there when she gets back. steal her Fabergé egg. Just jam that in my coat pocket. No way that could go sideways. So, you're not a moose. You're just a phone. After all this time, just a phone. Okay, that's butterflies. You know, a moose is not a small thing. I feel like I should... I feel like it should be easy for me to find the moose in the room. No, okay, there's not a number on the underside of that. You know, I thought, yeah, maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe those are moose antlers, right? That's like a really fat hyena. Why is that? Why would you have a picture of that? How does that make sense? So when she said... Oh, there's our moose. Five. 
Okay, so 579. Uh, it's not like engraved on the side of this clock that is not the right clock? No. Hmm. I've already forgotten which thing was which. Moose is five. Telescope is... Seven? Telescope is nine. A moose is five, because me mooses are pretty tall. Meese. Meese are pretty tall. And then the telescope is nine, because the telescope can see, if you can believe it, even taller than a moose. So much taller. And, as everyone knows, uh, a moose cannot look up. So, at the moment, the code we have is something 975. Yeah. Something 975. That... There must be another one of those mantelpiece clocks in here somewhere. It is super weird that they are fi just fine with me still being here. Alexa Carlyle again. Don, this is how the... Oh! Ha! Perhaps right there. One. In this farce, and I Perhaps right there. Hello, sir. Your Get your arse over one. Nine, seven, five. Unfortunately, we are definitely going to have to wait for her to leave the room again. It and you know it. The disrespect you show me will have grave consequences, I promise you. So call me. I wonder if she has had Emma dealt with yet? Or if Emma's still just walking around on the map? Because, like, here's the thing. I definitely... <clears throat> I definitely want to make sure Emma gets dealt with. Boy, I sure wish that their uh, their servers were stable. I feel like if you are making a single player game and you are deciding that gameplay and progress needs to be linked to your server, despite the fact that it very obviously doesn't, it immediately becomes incumbent on you to make sure that your server uptime is flawless. Also, we should throw some propane flasks down the... Uh, down the laundry chutes here. Again, just to make sure that we get as much of a House of Usher out of this whole thing as we possibly can. Where am I going to find a propane flask? We definitely saw some. There's probably some in the kitchen, right? They gotta... They gotta power the grills and whatnot. Although, probably in England, it's, it's probably it's a little bit less common for places to have a bunch of barbecue grills. Right? I mean, I mean... British people must still grill. Right? This is another one of those... This is a weird cultural thing. I have no idea. Okay, so there's nothing fun out here. Unfortunately, we are just waiting, and I have no way of compelling her to leave her secret room. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, the good news is, after all of the... Uh, with all the stuff we've stolen from this richly appointed mansion... Uh, 47 is going to be able to retire quite comfortably. We did it. We finally did it. We're in the money. Alright, don't you guys have a job to do? And isn't it, you know, over that away? Nope, that guy wants to come outside. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that I wasn't hanging out and being creepy in front of those doors that I don't have to be stealthy near. Alright, 1975. Good work, 47. Easy. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Wait a minute. So she goes outside. She does go downstairs, right? Hmm. Because if she doesn't still go downstairs, then we're going to have to find a new... a new drink to poison. Okay, it looks like she's going downstairs. Please stay back. So we're not allowed to be in here, but she probably comes in here and takes a drink, right? There's definitely there's definitely drinks in there. And yeah, this is gonna 
this is going to be kind of a slow conclusion, but listen, it's very important to me that we jam as much dramatic irony into this as possible. It's the only way 47 can get himself out of bed in the morning. After you've become the world's greatest assassin, and also you have literal magic powers, you know, it's, it stops being exciting to just do the job. Then you gotta do the job ironically. Uh, I need to get downstairs. It does look like she's... It does look like she's just doing the whole, the whole normal route here, right? So, uh, wait, which, the parlor's this way? Oh, I'm all, I'm all discombobulated. I'm all spun about. Yes, the parlor's this way. So, wait, was this where she had her train? I'm gonna, <clears throat> maybe we should just follow her. Maybe we should just stay with her instead of trying to get out of her. Here's the thing. I am impatient. But we don't really have a lot of this poison. We should probably make sure we know which glass is hers. Greetings, sir. If you only knew what we face. I wonder what you would do. Attack? Regroup? Close the gates and wait it out? Probably just bleach your wig again. Greetings, sir. Uh, yeah, hi. I'm definitely allowed to be here. Who says I'm not? Oh, shit. Okay, she comes in here. This looks like a place where she might have a drink. In Zachary's oh, bedroom. Zachary. At least you never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. To protect the Carlyle legacy, what bollocks. It's all gone, I feel it. That bloody Arthur Edwards, how did I not see it? <laughs> I doubt our big brother could have botched it up any worse than I have, even if he'd tried. Well, at least she's self-aware. Uh, <clears throat> I was tying my shoe. Nothing to worry about. Well, well, well. What did I'm you glad find? We speak the same uh, language. Okay. All right, buddy. Christ. I'm talking about that weasel, Arthur Edwards. Can we get back what he stole from me? So far, it looks like we can't. All the transfers of funds and privileges I've been through have been bulletproof. He intercepted the arrangements our office worked years to put in place. That's why Don Yates should be here. He made the arrangements. He should bloody well be the one to clean up this whole mess. I, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Don't kill the messenger, Alexa. Please. Continue your efforts, Mr. Ford. Wow, that's a remarkably even-handed response to that. Sir. I have to say, I'm a little I'm a little impressed. I have absolutely no change of feeling about murdering her in cold blood, obviously. Okay, and then she goes back upstairs. So, if she drinks anything at this point, Hello there, sir. it'll be something in this room. Which means we gotta, we gotta improvise ourselves a new maneuver here. Now, I'm probably not really allowed to be in here. But this will give us a way around. Actually, it's fine for me to be in there, just not in here. So we don't know for sure if she comes in here and drinks anything. She might, though. Sort of want to jump that dude. Is there... There's got to be space in one of these wardrobe things for a, for a full-grown man. Yeah, that'll do. Is 
that? Can you not hear that? Okay, there we go. It's a bad place for me to get caught. Listen, she'll be in her panic room for a second. It may seem like this is a lot of effort, but yeah, you know, it's all it's all gonna be so worth it. Obviously. I'm gonna let him turn it off before I grab him. Okay. That felt like it was the most dramatically appropriate. We could make ourselves mansion staff at this point, which I guess is probably a pretty good idea. What is that? Okay, we'll look at that in a second. An unsent letter from Aleka to her daughter Rebecca, describing how two tokens carried by Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby are to be combined in the event of her death, yet to get access to the safe deposit box. Which contains a copy of the case file. Interesting. So at this point we're allowed to be in here, but we're also suspicious. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> I definitely should not poison the coffee with her looking right at us, though. That feels like a, uh, feels like perhaps a step too far. So she comes over here, she drinks the coffee. Yeah, this is it. This is the poetry. This is what I, this is what I was hoping for. This right here is my fixation. And then she'll have to do her little walk around again before she comes back here to do this, which is unfortunate but it will give us plenty of time to get downstairs and steal that very fancy sword and figure out how we're going to get out with it, because obviously I have strong feelings about the fancy sword. And see, you remember that thing I was talking about where we close doors so that there aren't sight lines all over the place and we can just do things we want to do when we need to do them? We got to make sure that that lady is also not paying attention. I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm staffing this coffee. Okay, I just need her to go back to the wardrobe over there. Alright, here we go. This is our moment. Uh, poison pills? No, no, no. This is the, this is the plant poison. This is the really dramatically appropriate one. Alright, so I think we want to, we want to be the investigator again. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, this will this will give us time to accomplish a whole bunch of things that we desperately need to accomplish. So my hope is that this will not go off without you know somebody doing something to set it off. But just in case, why don't we uh, why don't we create a save here? Nope, that went off right away. Okay, listen, you can't house of usher while you're in the house. That's not how it works. You know, you have to be like, you have to be like riding a helicopter away and then you see the house crumble in upon itself. We may have to give up on some of our dreams. And I think, if anything, that is maybe the most important lesson of the Hitman games. Sometimes you just have to give up on your dreams. Alright, let's go get that sword. We can at least come away with a consolation prize here. And we can steal her propane. Once again, hof ho hoping to uh, offset the uh, expenses incurred here. These plane tickets were not cheap, and uh, Diana does not reimburse me for anything. So if we have a sword, we're going to have to be much more careful. Where was this? The sword's over here somewhere, right? Yes, okay. So, sword, then out into the bushes. I should be able to grab the sword yet and still have the, the propane. Alright, we're doing it. Where do you reckon... Oh, uh, sure, free baseball, why not? Where's the boat? If we were to look at a map... 
were I a boat, where would I be? Probably over here. Yeah, right? The, the, the lighter color is the water, right? I think so. <laughs> uh, I guess let's just go south and we'll see. This, yeah, this way. Yeah, this way. Uh, do I want to try to go over? We can... No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Gotta be very careful. These rich people take their propane very seriously. Ah. Uh, I think so. People, people everywhere. This is, this is starting to feel dangerous. I am facing exactly. We gotta go that way. We gotta go back to where we came. I don't remember seeing a boat out there. Uh. Listen, if we have to drop our sword temporarily for scouting purposes, it's not the end of the world. Okay, if we wait for that lady to not be paying attention, yeah, we can just drop down here real fast. Nobody saw that. It's the perfect crime. Boat, boat, boat. Do you see a boat? I don't see a boat. Uh, there could be a boat over there. I don't think there's... Mm. At some point, Madam Carlyle's going to go drink that tea, and as soon as she's dead, I think it will highlight the exits for us. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head in the direction nope, that's a gate that we probably can't go through. Ooh, no, that's a gate that we started on the other side of. We must be able to go through it. You know what? It's probably better I cross the river over here where we crossed it last time. There could be a boat over there. That seems possible. Where on earth did I cross it last time? Because we didn't take the bridge. Oh, there's this, okay, there's this little silty area over here. Also, free brick. I'll build my own mansion. That's gonna be a problem. Well, that's a car. Car is not boat most of the time. So no, the dark, the dark, the dark stuff on the map is the water, SB. Where is there even enough water? It must be on the north side. It must be near the greenhouse. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of room over here. Okay, well, back into the house then. It's, it's fine. We're getting a lot of cardio here. You know, this is, this is not wasted. You know the way he's crouched running around? 47's core is going to be so strong. We're just going to... We're just going to stay real low here. Imagine what would be going through somebody's mind if they did find us, though. By the way, in case you were wondering, yes, I am starting to get a little bit worried that she's never going to drink the tea. Because shouldn't she have already? Should that not have already happened? Never mind. Never mind that Mission concern. Complete. It turns out everything's fine. Well Uh-oh. Well, that seems bad. So that's an exit. What about... What about the... Okay, there's no other exits. Okay, well, we'll go to the one exit. It's fine. Like I said, this is all just exercise. Yeah, we were waiting for the target to drink the tea. You gotta come up with a regimen. You gotta keep your... Keep your body and mind strong while you're out here man-hitting. It does seem all of a sudden all of the frogs are quite a lot louder, doesn't it? I love the fact that that lady's still just out here like, Jeez, that was really shocking. I'm just super surprised. Is this just... They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine. Shit! Okay, well, I am currently getting out. I am I'm getting out as much as I can. So, I mean, after all that noise, obviously, 
Seems like it's a pretty good thing that I brought this sword. And I even refueled my motorcycle. Motorcycles run on propane, right? That makes sense. I would call that a thorough success. Maybe like a very slow success. On the speedrun boards, obviously that's gonna that's gonna turn out pretty poorly. But in a lot of other ways, that was pretty that's not a lot of challenges. <clears throat> also, two stars. I mean I guess the body the body did get found. But it looked like it was an accident. She accidentally drank some poison tea. No, nobody's at fault there. Ooh, fancier lockpicks. That's just, that's the, mechanically it's the same as all of our other lockpicks. But maybe a good thing to remember to bring. So, uh, hey guys, what's, what's up? What happened, everybody? Take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. <laughs> what a subtitle. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. So, for people who are not familiar with the full plot, in case the implication there was unclear, which I doubt it was, uh, 40, one of 47's earliest contracts was the assassination of Diana's parents and her being an orphan... Her being orphaned in that way is a big part of what led to her being in the ICA in the first place. So, obviously, that's complicated. Uh, I don't think Diana's going to turn on us, because she's smarter than that. Come on, now. Uh, but I think this is probably a pretty good place to call it for today. You know, I said that, uh, that I was not wild about the in-engine cutscenes, and I think that really underlined why... So like, they, they're in kind of a tricky position. In the first game, they had these really, really well-rendered cutscenes because they had access to some uh, better resources on account of, at the time, I believe, being part of Square Enix, or at least partnered with Square Enix in some way. Um, and so they had they had access to some, some better rendering technology. Uh, then they ended up going the studio ended up getting released and going solo for hitman 2 and for hitman 2 because they didn't have access to those resources anymore they did a much more artful almost like comic book style presentation for the cutscenes you know to try to mask the fact that the assets that they had the ability to use look like what we just saw there um and i think that was better i think they should have just kept doing that because the the in-engine assets 
it looks it looks a little goofy and it sort of like leeches the drama out. Anyway, it's a very minor concern. Uh, that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm real curious where this story is going to go. I can't handle the suspense, so I don't usually release videos on the weekend, but I'm going to make sure to get a couple of these out. So come back next time tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, for the next step in the story, and we'll see you then.